Stella Lanam was abducted by LRA rebels in Namo district at a tender age of 10. She was held captive for seven years in the bush. At night they just come and take, take us that we wake up, then they tie that with the rope, we start to move. Um, even I don't know over the rebel or over what, because I was young, I was just 10 years. As it is with many returnees, Lanam is finding it difficult to reintegrate in the community. They always say that, oh, these people that spoil our life, they kill our relatives, they do what. They don't know that for us as a children, they didn't protect us. When you look at women returnees, there's a lot of stigmatization. They cannot open up to, to, to many things. For example, when somebody tells them, we don't want here, we don't want you here, you have killed before. That means they are basically telling them, you don't even have rights to, to, to your mother's land, you don't have rights to your father's land. Yeah, met, uh, we The former LRA abductee has now resorted to setting up a business to raise money to fend for her son. Her son was fathered by one of the rebel leaders. Lanam is bitter with some NGOs that allegedly used her experience to solicit funds from donors without keeping their promise of supporting her. They are telling us that we want, we want you to tell your story and that story we are going to what? To, to sell with your back. And then nothing can be done. Women face a lot when it comes to access to justice. There are too many challenges with access to justice. And uh, when you talk about just an ordinary woman, it's all about finances. Uh, it's all about the, the delay in trials. That means they can't make it to the end. A report on mental health and child soldiers in northern Uganda, carried out by Gulu University, indicates that approximately 87% of former child soldiers experienced war-related trauma.